Hey everyone, it's Victoria and I'm coming to you from New York, so shock it to New York. Um, I was running today, it was perfect running weather, it's been 70 degrees Fahrenheit here in New York in December, record highs, thumbs up for that. I'm really excited. I want to talk about what I thought about when I was running. I was listening to the song We Could Be Heroes and I was thinking about all the stuff that intrigued me and I'm sure so many others about heroes, you know, whether it be real or fake or whatever it was, we were interested because we kept tuning in every week to Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman and the ratings were really high. Even Bionic Woman and the Six Million Dollar Man got major, major views because we all wanted to be supernatural at something. Something intrigued us about that. Now, it got me to thinking about how I've been a Jacqueline of trades and really master of none, probably, um, in my life. And I'd like to hone in on some special skills that I think I possess. I think we all have something that we possess. I think that you know deep down that there's something that you're better at than all the other areas in your life. And not to say you're better at it than somebody else. I'm talking about completely being your own competitor, like competing against yourself. I don't compete against anybody else, not in running, not in anything, not in any sport. I've never liked sports for that reason. I've never liked color war for that reason. I've never been competitive that way. And I've never been, I've always wanted to have the sportsmanship and have people really get to their truest potential. So I'm not competing against anybody. I'm always happy for another runner when they hit a personal best. I'm always happy that I could hit my own personal best. That's why they call it a personal best. I don't care if I'm faster than anybody else. Is there a little bit of competition while you're running side by side with somebody if they kind of smoke you in the end? Like, yeah, there's definitely that. You want to get a little bit faster, but it really doesn't make or break who I am. So that's a good thing. A lot of people get caught up in the competition and I don't really care for it. So. I'm more of a sharer. So in saying that, I thought about heroes and how every hero, if you think about it, they have that one special thing they're really good at. Like maybe there's a few things they're good at, like Superman possesses a few of those and Wonder Woman may have a few of those, but they're always like, they're, when there was the Saturday morning cartoons, they had the Wonder Twins and one of them could turn into liquid or ice and the other one an animal. And they, they were really good at those things. Were they good at sewing? Probably not. Were they good at jumping off of you know tall buildings? Probably not. But and they probably couldn't fly. But they were good at something. The Fantastic Four. They all had their own special quality that they were good at. And collaborating, they became very powerful. But also the fact that they had camaraderie and they were able to share their one thing. So in other words, you don't have to be good at everything. You're not going to be good at everything. There's no way, no how. So even if you're looking into yourself as far as, you know, you're not doing well in school or you're not doing well in certain subjects, I'm, I guarantee you there is something that you're better at than somebody else that's better at something else. Like you, somebody's really good in math, I guarantee you're better at something else than they are. So it's all relative. I wouldn't compare myself to anybody. If I were you, I don't. Um, times that you could feel a little bit more inspired by those people, sure. I mean, I know that I'll never be very flexible and great at yoga. I know I won't be. I can admire someone who is. So to me, there's no real competition. It's just inspiration. Really getting to have the gift of enjoying somebody else's happiness is good enough for me. And I hope that I can share in certain abilities that I have with you guys. Like, I know that I am not shy, which is why I can make videos, which is why I can get up there and do stand-up comedy, which is why I could do certain things that could probably help somebody else. That's what I bring to the table, and I'm hoping that you guys do the same. You know, you guys could just do something that maybe you knew you were good at, Maybe as a child, maybe you knew you had some special ability to do something and you do it well. You can't do everything well, try to do one thing well, two things well, and then move on to something else. And after you've mastered that one thing, if you want to continue going with that and really enjoy it and really, really hone in and perfect it, that's great. And then if you want to, after you perfect it, you move on, that's great too. But whatever it is, you're the star of your own show. 
Everybody else is just an extra. Sometimes you allow them to have a speaking part like I do. If you see it my way, give me a thumbs up. If not, move on to the next video. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Signing off from New York.